Alright, what is going on everyone, and welcome to Crypt of the Necrodancer. My name is John, and this game has been on my watch list for really long now, or a really long time now. Um, this is a musical, like, a rhythm kind of game that's a roguelite, which is, like, randomly generated levels, and you die easily, so you pretty much have something new every time. Now, the reason why this is interesting is because it is coming out to full release as of April 21st, and I got a copy that was like almost a full version. It says beta right now, but it's like the launch version. So, I'm pretty excited to bring you guys this, and yeah, it's really interesting. So what you guys are going to see is never going to be the same, well, very similar, but not exactly the same. And apparently there's a lot of good reviews on this, so here to check it out. And yeah, the music is pretty interesting. So this game, you mostly play with uh, the arrow keys on the keyboard, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'll try to show you the options menu real quick. Um, there is a leaderboards and replays thing, so that was pretty cool. I did test out a little bit just to see if it worked for recording but um yeah let's go over to options menu real quick then we'll jump into a game and gameplay there's not really too much to look at um just most of this i have checked uh just showing whatnot audio music uh sound graphics pretty much full screen there's no sliders or anything but it's good to have uh, i do believe you could play this with a controller or a dance pad like a ddr pad but I don't know about how that exactly works. I saw Total Biscuit actually do it with a dance pad, but that was pretty interesting. And when you first get it, you're gonna have to do some latency calibration in the beginning. You just like press the up key when you hear like beats. So um, it only takes like a minute. So just expect that when you first try it. So that was pretty much the options menu. Not too much. Obviously, there's mod support and all that stuff. So that's awesome. And the soundtrack will be like available on Steam as well and or other places later once it's completely done. So with that said, uh, let's go do the tutorial real quick. I beat it, but I just wanted to show you what it's essentially like, and then we will start up Zone 1. And yeah, let's start that up. I'm just a little worried that when I do this on YouTube, it's going to be... Hopefully it doesn't get hit with copyright music, which it shouldn't. The developer said it's okay to upload this, so... Should be okay. So pretty much you use the arrow keys to go up, follow the rhythm. I'll try to keep quiet so you can hear the music as well. Looks like those skeletons put their hands in the air when they're about to jump. If I'm in the way when they move, it's going to hurt. I'm not sure what actually triggers the multiplier though. So what you want to do is avoid the traps over there and just keep going around it. Alright, so this is the first actual zone, level one. Uh, it's always different. I've never actually seen all of these, so it's always different for me as well. Diamonds are what you use out of game to like get different stuff. And the green ones don't move, the uh, blue ones side strafe and have two health. Need coin multiplier lost. Ah, buy the golden key. I'm not sure where to get it though. Alright, so you go into an area. There we go. There's so much to explore. I think we missed the top, so let's go back. Ah, oh, that makes things go faster, okay.
Oh, you can just like skip that and go down the stairs. Okay, let's see how we're gonna do this one. Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. Wasn't exactly, I'd never seen that before. So when you do that, you could like see a replay, and then when you go to the lobby, you get uh, you lose your coins, but you get your diamond, and uh, each time you get a diamond, you get you can upgrade. You go over here. Cheese. Right. Not exactly sure. So you could buy stuff with your diamonds, essentially. Permanent upgrades are always good. So we're here again. So if you guys are enjoying this, let me know, hit the like button, and then I can always do more. There's no actual story to it, so it's just kind of trial and error. Right? Okay, so this one. Throwable weapons. Alright. As you guys can tell, I am terrible at this game, but it's actually a lot of fun. Oh. These are with coins, I assume. Yes. I'm trying to keep quiet most of the time so you guys can listen to it as well. Oh god, where did you come from? Nice. So you gotta get the golden key. Don't do anything, right? Okay. Combo. Did we get any, or did we get everything before we uh, go down the floor? Let's go double check. We might have missed the door at the top. Barrel, launch it that way. All right. Oh, interesting. So we need a key. Just 
like iron and Jeez. you have until the song ends did not know that actually do not fall into those So let's go into square patterns. Just gotta, this idiot. Need the golden key. Need the shopkeeper. Where are you, buddy? Oh God, hello. See if there's a shop over here. I feel like I'm missing something. I just gotta figure out like if there are like hidden doors next to um, like certain zones where I would be able to find it. Oh my god. Well, there's, that was the only shop there. What a nice platinum spear. So this is the only one. There's no actual guy over there. Or like, a uh, guy that sells a golden key. I think it's all random. So my impressions of this game is kind of like Binding of Isaac with rhythm. I was making my way to uh, the other side anyway. Obsidian. Came out of nowhere. Creepy. Need a guy with the key as well. Oh my god. He had a lot of them. Well, that was an interesting run. Alright, so let's go in here, see. I don't think we can upgrade anything. We got the guy so we can be trained against enemies. Oh, okay. Did it, it's really interesting how they did this, like, co-op zone. Or, like, the main lobby where you just see everything. So I guess you unlock more guys as you can, and then... Yeah, actually... Feet an enemy to unlock them there. Training. Uh, we'll see what it does, actually. Okay, so I think that's it. There's a daily challenge. Let's check it out.
So the ghost appears when you move backwards. Okay. Figured that out one. A little bit late. Holster. Okay. Well, that's a new. <laughs> kind of surprised me a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna try that again. Well, anyway, that was a little intro to it. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. I can always upload some more gameplay of it. That was a f pretty, like, pretty much summarize what it is, but um, it's just like randomly generated levels, and there's gonna be a lot of them. Mods support, and it's a rhythm game for the most part. So, if you enjoyed it, let me know, and be sure to give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, hope you subscribe, see, enjoyed what you saw and heard. So, I'll see you guys next time.